Hey guys, back again. Uh, this time again is going to be about the uh, the Canadian Marconi T500, better known as a Tate T500. Um, I've done a video about this one yesterday. Uh, basically, uh, how to set the radio up for VHF. And uh, my header set up too was on. Uh, was I don't even know what I had to set up on now. Let's see, what did I have it up on? Yeah, it's 146.500, that's what I had to sit up on. But, um, after I'd done the video, and about an hour later, I was playing around the radio a little bit again, and I was going through the uh, alignment procedure, and, uh, you know, getting the receiver set up properly. And the alignment procedure asked for, uh, basically, for the VHF side, it required the adjustment of uh, four or five inductors. Well, yeah, it took a little bit of uh, head scratching there to figure out uh, why the inductors weren't on this particular board. And, well, I came to realize afterwards that uh, on the component side of the board, uh, right here in this area, there's a label. And uh, it was T555-60. And basically, <laughs> what I thought this radio was a VHF, it was not a VHF at all. The radio was actually a, this radio is actually UHF. It's actually UHF mobile radio. Some UHF T, 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 T500. And the UHF version was marked according to what I've been reading. Marketed for Marconi Canada. <laughs> Hence Marconi Canada on the front panel. So yeah, this is a T555-60, which makes it a UHF. So, spent a good part of the day, this morning, um, re-evaluating my, uh, <laughs> my uh, calculations again. And uh, it took a little bit of work. I managed to get the calculations correct and uh, perfectly perfectly set up the receive as well as the transmit and everything is working as it should and the frequency right now that she is tuned to is 443.200 and if you remember uh, a little while ago on the crossband repeater that's what I have her set up for 443.200 so yeah the only thing that this radio does, is not set up for right now is to open the um, T33.6 hertz tone that I have enabled on the system which is what this board is it's a CTCSS board, it's an add-on board for this particular T500 it enables the uh, tone to work on receive I'm not sure if it does it on transmit I've, I'm assuming it can do both but um, I guess you set your receive and transmit tones um, you your channel 1 on that side, channel 2 on that side as marked on the board here so you set up your, your tone here and I guess just your tone output or loudness I guess is right there so yeah so we have to set this board up to transmit to 233 hertz or 233.6 hertz tone I have to get this board here to set up to do so yeah We've uh, I've got her figured out finally, and uh, so and the squelch and everything's working as it should. The uh, squelch on these T five hundreds, from what I was reading and what I found out, is the squelch is actually wired backwards. Normally, when you turn your squelch up, you go clockwise to turn your squelch up. This particular unit, the squelch is actually anti-clockwise. <laughs> So yeah, it's 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 odd. So uh, I have my Kenwood right here. She set up on four on four three three two. Test one two, and of course test one two. Of course, this thing is not transmitting the tone that this thing is listening for. So obviously, you're not going to hear it. But if I was to press the monitor. You will hear it. So, what I will do here, I'll get all set up here and we'll, uh, we'll test it out. So we have the handheld radio here. 
as you can see, VO1MDS testing. So I'm going to press the monitor button. Test one, test one, two. Victor Ocean one, Mike Delta Sierra testing. Victor Ocean one, Mike Delta Sierra testing. There you go. So the radio is transmitting at 433.6, and now to prove that I have her on receive on 433.6, I'm going to transmit with the handheld radio. Test one, two, three. Victor Ocean one, Mike Delta Sierra testing. Victor Ocean one, Mike Delta Sierra testing. One, two, three, three, two, one. There we go. <laughs> Got it working. Anyways, we're going to put all the shields back on here, and then we're going to play around with this CTCSS tone and tone board and see if we can't get this radio to talk to this. So, anyways, I guess that's what this video is going to be about. We're going to reassemble everything here, and we're going to try to tune this CTCSS board. Um, I haven't done it, but that's it. And also to tune this fella up. Also, you had to use a service monitor to tune in to receive the best, the clearest signal that I could get on this uh, Tate T500. Uh, I got her at point, uh, say, 0 0.325 UV. That's the that's the clearest signal I can get on this on FM is uh, 0.325 UV. So I think that's pretty good. Even some of the newer gear sold now was sensitive is, is that good down that low. So, anyways, and oh yes, and I tested the power. I also tuned her power, so she's doing 25 watts exactly, 25 watts RF power, and receive is at uh, 0 0.325 UV. So, yeah, she's uh, bodacious. So, anyways, let's uh, get her put together here and uh, see if we can't get this board to talk to this dear radio. Anyways, uh, try to tune the CTCSS board. Uh, I managed to tune it to 233.6, but uh, if the radio is sitting on her back, she's fine. She'll work fine. But as soon as it takes the radio and puts her right side up, she, don't, she no longer sends the tone. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. Fun times. But, Test one, two. Loves that uh, squelch. Test one, two. Test one, two, one, two. VO one MDS testing. One, two, three, three, two, one. There you go. Anyways, she's uh, she's working. Tone board works when it wants to work. See the one to work there now. One, two, V, one, M, yes. Anyways, no worrying about it. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And again, Merry Christmas. And uh, hope you all have a great one. And uh, let's see if we can get up. See if videos we can get up for the next couple of, couple of days. Anyways, all the best. Take her easy. Right now, 63.